Thousands of Georgia SNAP recipients have had money stolen by skimmers. Their ABT cards are either being cloned or the information is being copied when they are shopping. Thanks for being here with us at 5 o'clock. I'm Colonel Parker. And I'm Carla Heath Sands. Uh, WALB News 10's Brittany Blake spoke with state officials to discuss how they plan to protect SNAP recipients from these types of scams. EBT fraud costs taxpayers $4.7 billion a year, according to the U.S. Government Accountability Office, which is why state legislatures are warning SNAP recipients about the many schemes to steal their benefits. So they don't have their benefits, they can't eat. And so we want to crack down even more on it and, you know, get with the stores and make sure that they don't have any of these little devices that can get your information. But this does pose the question, what technology is being used to protect recipients from these types of scams? It could be safer, but at the same time, you got to look at how people are scammed even digitally through technology. So you got to outweigh to see how things are looking for as you know, being able to protect the system as a whole. To help prevent card skimming, the USDA recommends you keep your pin and card number secret. Beware of phishing. Remember, EBT processors will not call or text you to ask for your PIN or card number. Change your PIN often. Change your PIN at least once a month, ideally right before your benefit issuance date. Check your EBT account regularly for unauthorized charges. If you believe you are a victim of card skimming and SNAP benefits were stolen, contact your local SNAP office. We got to look into this, and that takes up a lot of time. And, you know, people, they need to eat, kids need to eat, everybody need to eat. SNAP recipients who believe their funds have been stolen due to card skimming, card cloning, or similar types of fraud need to request a new card and pin. Brittany Blake, WAOB, your hometown news source.